I'll put a bow rack in my truck somewhere. I just don't know where yet. Sure, man. Oh, you know, out here with Joshua again. I don't know what I'm gonna be vlogging. I don't know what he's gonna be vlogging. I'm just gonna try to get a little bits and pieces of just little stuff. What I'm planning on doing is going to get some self-tapping screws and some adhesive strips for my red first gen is what I'm gonna try to do this afternoon for most of my video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Just remember the 12 valve giveaway, the ultimate 12 valve giveaway is now live. So you can enter to win either that red first gen which is gonna get some new wheels and tires, my silver five speed dually or nasty red with the built transmission, the flatbed, all that paint and body work getting done. Compound turbos, it's an insane truck. Giveaway only runs for 30 days. After that point, you will be contacted if your name was drawn to win the truck. Go down, link in the description, or I'll leave it right here. Every $15 you spend is another entry. You spend 15, you get one, you spend 30, you get two, so on and so forth. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I'm in the barn with the red first gen and let's get into the topic of what we're going to be doing on this truck today. So we've got the truck, it's all paint match and everything else right in the new fender and stuff. However, the moldings are not on yet and this is one off of the other two wheel drive first gen. So I'm going to put this molding on this front fender because the first one got trashed on the highway. And also we do have new wheels and tires coming for this truck soon. Um, just so you guys don't think like uh, we're going to give away a pretty cool truck and then put you know, factory wheels keep those on it. So um, what we're gonna do, I got a little bit of dirt on here from setting the fender up to try to um, match it up. The reason I'm gonna put the, uh, the trim back on, I guess you could say, is because it's gonna be a lot harder for me to rip all these off and not damage paint than it would be just to um, put this on and just make it match the rest of the truck. And since it's so original and all this other stuff and just the look and the classicness of it, I wanna just keep it that way. Now this does have holes in the fender right here. And what we're gonna do for those is just buy some moldings. I know they're like freaking 250 bucks for a set of the Power Ram 250 Cummins turbo diesel moldings, but I gotta buy them just because I don't wanna have to take this back into the shop for them to try to repatch that up again to make those holes not there. So I'm just gonna buy the moldings and instead of drilling holes on the other side, which I'm not gonna do, all I'm gonna do is grind these studs off the back of these moldings center them up and then just use adhesive strips and apply them um, instead of trying to you know re-drill out holes for the other side so that it matches and lining up and all that stuff because that, that can just get really messy really quick so i also need to buy a light and amber turning signal light for the fender there but other than that we're just going to use adhesive strips to put the you know fender moldings back on um and that's pretty much it and then other than that uh, we should be good to go so i'm going to set the camera up try to get this thing back on i just got some little self-tapping screws because that's how all the other ones are set up um, then we're going to get this molding back on there. Okay, so we just got the um, fender molding and the one that's in between the door and that fender put on the big red here. So, you know, this, this fender here and this molding on the other side, of course. So, here it is. Nice and straight across. Follow those body lines. All the same gaps as the other side. And then just this fender, of course. I just got some self-tapping screws and placed them the same as the other side. And um, pretty good. Pretty good. Glad that I got that done. Just little things like that that you just kind of want to get taken care of. This truck does need a new exhaust system too. It's not that it doesn't sound good and it, it is a straight pipe, but it's it's all rusty. So I think because the truck did sit a couple years at the guys, the previous guy's house that I had bought it from, I think condensation may have built up inside the exhaust system and then just kind of rusted it out in a couple spots. So um, we're gonna get a new exhaust system on that thing fairly soon. However, not today. Beautiful, beautiful truck. I love that truck and then this truck too. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful vehicles. 
So anyways, this giveaway should be live actually right now. So every $15 you spend at team-lnp.myshopify.com right now is gonna get you entered to winning either that red truck, the silver dually, or if you guys have not yet seen, the nasty red 12 valve flatbed truck, which has compound turbos, a built transmission, the brand new flatbed. Um, it's right now, it's getting all new paint and body work and getting restored in that manner. So, I mean, it's it's a pretty sick truck. That truck, I think, is a second gen, of course. Um, and it's got, it's gonna have roughly 30 grand sunk into that thing. I know some people are kinda like, dude, I thought that truck was staying around the channel. Um, and let's clear up some things on that really quick because I get a lot, of, a lot of questions about that truck. I keep getting messages saying, I thought that was your dad's truck. Why are you putting his truck up for the giveaway? You know, explain that. Cause we're kind of wondering like, why are you paying for the mods on that truck? And it's his truck. And then also, why are you putting the truck up for the giveaway? if it's his truck. So let's kind of clear that up. Yes, it's his truck. His name is still on the title. What we have worked out as a deal, because he's got exactly like 16,900 and some change invested into that truck in terms of the truck, the parts, taxes on parts, I mean, just everything. He's got just shy of 17 grand invested. But the way that it was sitting with the rusted rockers, they're needing a new door, new fenders, I mean, body work, paint work, it needed a bunch of body work. Frame was fine, everything else is solid, but just needed paint and body work. He was kind of like, ah, I really need to get like $10,000 more worth of stuff done, but I don't really want to do that right now. He's He's a businessman, he's got other things he's got to tend to, you know? And this is what I do every day, but it's not really what he does every day. So it's not really like something like he can spend money on and really get much of a return on, you know what I mean? He just gets a cool truck at the end of the day. And we worked this deal out. I said, you've got 17 grand into it, right? Yeah, okay. Well, the way that truck sits right now, there's no way you're gonna get 17 grand out of it. Yes, it's got 150,000 miles, low mileage, but needs like three, four thousand dollars in paint and body work and stuff like that. And it needed a built transmission, it needed a new front end, it needed brakes and rotors. I mean, it needed a lot of stuff. So we worked it out to where I took over the build. Okay, so I'm taking over the build. And I've got, in the last, just in the last three weeks, I've probably got roughly, I'm looking at, I'm gonna have like 10,000 plus dollars into this truck within a matter of a month. So he said this, if you pay to get the truck finished, you can use it for your giveaway. However, if the truck gets picked, you owe me 17 grand for the truck because that's what I had into it before you took over the build. See what I'm saying? So I'm not paying for the truck once it's done because I'm paying for all the mods. But since he had 17 grand into it before I took it over, he said that's all you would owe me because then I'd at least get all my money back and 17 grand for that truck in the current condition that it wasn't before I started doing it. It was a really good deal on his end because Again, with all the rust and paint and body work and stuff on it, he wasn't gonna get 17 grand out of it. But, me having worked on it and me valuing the work that was done and the money spent, I was like, I'd give you 17 grand since that's what you had into it and he wasn't planning on selling it. So it's one of those deals. I didn't have a problem doing that. But if the truck doesn't get picked for the giveaway, he just gets to keep the truck and he doesn't owe me a dime for the transmission build, the front end build. There was like an, uh, needed a new axle shaft up front. It needed, you know, brakes and rotors and all that stuff. The paint and body work, he doesn't owe me a dime for any of that and he just gets the truck back built and done. And it's basically just like a gift of $10,000 worth of work to him. And that's basically all it would be. So that's how it's worked out. I pay for all the mods and then if the truck gets picked, I owe him 17 grand because of what he had in it before I took it over. And if it doesn't get picked, then he just gets a built truck and he doesn't owe me anything. And it's kind of as like a thank you for letting me use it for the giveaway. Um, so it's kind of a toss up for him in terms of whether or not he'll get to keep the truck. But regardless, if he gets 17 grand out of it when it's all said and done, he can build the truck all over again for 17 grand. You know, he can, he can buy a cleaner second gen, way cleaner second gen for 17 grand. So he's like, I mean, it's not a big deal. I can buy another super clean second gen for 17. You know what I mean? That's how that deal's worked out right now, just to kind of clear that up. Somebody chose the $5,000 and not the machine. I think it's got four hours on it now. I've driven it just a little bit more. Um, that means that I've got a brand new Can-Am. So it's really not like a downside to me. I got a brand new four wheeler. I'm actually gonna use it a little bit now. Um, it's a little bit dirty and that's because I wrote it like the day after I found out who won and what they uh, what they were gonna choose to you know to take home so I was like okay they want the cash no problem I get to keep my four there anyways you know what I mean so because uh, I couldn't have replaced this four wheeler for five grand so I was like yeah that's no problem with me I'll just keep it you know so I've got the four wheeler now and I don't think I'm gonna sell it I was thinking about selling it after I found out you know if they wanted the cash or whatever got some dirt on my face but then I got to thinking I'm like you know what I'm not gonna tell you, but I was gonna tell you, um, I've been, there's some more, there's some stuff in the works that I can't tell you about. 
Now, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up because I don't want to, you know, say something, get everybody excited and then be like, you know, a month or two from now it doesn't happen and then you guys be like, oh, you know, you said that this was going to happen. But anyways, let's just say I'm going to keep this because it could really come into use for some future things coming my way potentially. So, um, that really, I know that's very broad, it doesn't really answer any questions, but that's why I'm going to keep it in. You'll know when the time comes as to why. I'm gonna keep this and not sell it because I was thinking, ah, you know, I could use the six grand right now to uh, at least get six grand out of it. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just hang on to it, you know, because to get that with the same wheels and tires I just put on it, it cost me, you know, 7,500 bucks to do it all over again. So, I'm like, I'll just keep it, oh, guys. So, as you guys know, the 12 off giveaway is now live, and so since it is live, I also wanted to use this video as an opportunity to show you some of the new stuff that we put out. There are gonna be some of the original designs for some of the merch from the ETV giveaway and the original 12 valve giveaway um, and some of that stuff since we're no longer making it is discounted so if you guys really like the original stuff and you didn't get a chance to buy it in the other giveaway that stuff is still for sale and slightly discounted in case you guys still like it however we are no longer making it so that's why it is discounted for now this is one of the OG OG shirts I cut the sleeves off of this was back in I think August of 2017 is when I released this shirt there's all kinds of mosquitoes and stuff so I'm if you see my hands swatting around, we've never done any hoodie like this before. Um, so let me show you the new hoodie. Here's a new hoodie. And everything should come stamped with your size and everything on it, marking it. Um, and the look of the hoodie, it's kind of like a distressed look. It's kind of got like a, it almost has the letters and the font look a little bit worn down and like distressed kind of a, kind of appeal to it. So um, that's what we were going for with this. And it actually looks really good in these hoodies. They fit awesome and I think they're where I have them at I think 40 45 95 um, which is pretty good because hoodies are they're not cheap to make and the sizes do run pretty true and this is a shirt that says buy it build it send it this is a new design so pretty dope pretty dope also you have to keep in mind like some of this stuff I'm going for the best feel and the best quality in terms of feel comfortable and just like a nice lightweight shirt pretty much to wear around now there's one that I don't have out here right now but it's actually my new favorite of the shirts it's kind of like a stonewash blue. It's got like a faded American flag and it's got a it's got a socket wrench and a craftsman wrench on it and it just says, you know, team loud and proud on it. Um, and it's it's actually pretty cool. It's probably one of my top favorites of the new merch. And my buddy was telling me he's like, "Dude, that's actually a really sick looking t-shirt." I'm like, "Thanks, you know." Link in the description to go to the website and see it. Another one of my new favorites. These are all my new favorites, of course. Loud and proud diesel trucks turbo logo t-shirt and this is a refresh of the make money not excuses this is a famous shirt on the website i mean you guys always love the make money not excuses stuff um it's just a simple statement you always have those people that are just like always trying to feel sorry for themselves oh i don't have enough money to do this i don't have enough money to do that and you know what i mean and all you guys out there that are busting your butts you know what i mean working non-stop to get the things that you like, to get the things that you want to drive, you want to build and stuff like that and be able to work on your trucks on the weekend, you guys live by this statement. Make money, dude, not excuses. If you want nicer things in life, work for them, man. I'm a firm believer in working for what you want. And this is more humor than anything. And the whole coloring of this shirt and everything was all the thought went into this to kind of go with the theme of it. So it says, go green, and then it's got a little green leaf it's got a diesel handle for the you know the go green thing and then it says psych so it's kind of like going green you know because you know you always have those people that are driving the priuses and little crap like that you know hybrids and stuff like oh go green save the planet you know what i'm saying it says go green and then it just says psych underneath so pretty funny we went with the white because it went really clean it kind of gives you that like eco-friendly vibe to the shirt Really love the shirt, it's hilarious already. People saying how funny it is. A new green handles t-shirt. Refresh, probably the coolest one that we've had yet. It's got a turbo with a green diesel handle with some greenish bluish diesel fuel coming up out of there. And it just says, everything's just kind of like hidden into it. So it's got, you know, team LMP, green, handles only. Pretty cool, it says diesel fuel on the pump. Pretty sweet. Pretty comfortable t-shirt again these are super comfortable sizes are really true really fit well we do have multiple color options in most of these shirts and this is another one that's actually a little bit tougher 
This is the material, it's a Hanes t-shirt, but it's a little bit tougher. It's like you can really just beat on these shirts and nothing's really gonna happen to them for the most part, they're really tough. The TLs, the ones that say TL like this, and the ones with the American flag, the stonewash blue ones, those are both made out of this material. So if you're wanting something that's more durable, it's not gonna be quite as lightweight, but it's gonna be more durable, a little bit tougher. These shirts are the ones, they're a little bit heavier, but they're tough as nails, they look really cool. So. The TL shirt was one of the top selling, actually, I think it was the top selling for the original 12 valve giveaway. Lots of good feedback on them, lots of guys loved them, said they were comfortable, well fitted and stuff like that. So these are back, but they're not back in the black or the gray, they're in a maroon. And we're only doing maroon, except there's some blacks and grays left from the previous 12 valve giveaway, but not many. I think. Yeah, not very many, not very many, but these are here, limited quantity. They're just a really tough, good looking shirt. Because that's all I have in terms of the new merch that I had out here today. There's some other stuff on there. There's some more cool decals and stuff. Actually, let me show you. I can't believe I'm giving you guys another shot to win this thing or that truck or the nasty red. The OG Loud and Proud decals from back in July of 2017. These are new decals selling hot Loud and Proud diesel trucks. The size matters decals not on the website. However, they are pretty hilarious and they should be coming to the website at some point. Eat My Soot Certified Prius Repellent. And this is the number one selling decal on the website. It's the windshield got super dirty with all dust in the air and stuff. I see these people rolling around town and my local town with these decals on their trucks and it's just super, super cool to see like you started a brand, you started a movement, so to speak, and your fans are participating and you have all kinds of people you know, rocking this decal up in the windshield. And now I know in some states you can't do that, so you gotta put it on the backside. But you know what I'm saying? It's kinda cool when you see a bunch of trucks driving around, letting you know the family that they're part of, the channel that they support, and the content that they know and love. And it's really cool to see trucks driving around and people just know you're part of Team Loud and Proud. And I really appreciate all the support. Guys, thank you so much for participating in this giveaway. It is as easy as going down to the link in the description, or I'll leave it right here on the screen. And every $15 you spend, gets you another entry into this giveaway. If you wanna spend a little bit of money now, you'll spend a little bit of money later. The nice thing about the way our website is set up is every amount that you spend throughout the whole month, and it only lasts 30 days, so September 30th, the giveaway is over. But every order that you place, let's say you make one the first week, the second week, the third week, and the fourth week, and they're all different amounts, and you're not sure what it totals up to, it's okay because at the end of the month when we add up all the, the things, under your name and your account, based on the email and phone number that you punched in and your first and last name, all of that money that you spent is added up together and we take the total amount and we divide it out by 15 and that's how many entries you're gonna get. So don't think like, oh, I didn't spend, I spent like $12 this time, then I spent $12 again and then I spent 20 this time. Like I don't know, if, you know what kind of entries I could have got if I just spent it all at once. Totally cool because everything just gets added up together and then divided out so you're not like losing out if you make multiple orders. Just so you guys know, the two wheel drive first chain coming up is going to be insane and this week probably we're gonna start to get things really just nailed down on this truck. We're gonna try to get into the shop for, you know, a whole new fuel systems and lift pump and all kinds of parts coming in for it. It's gonna be an insane build, it's gonna be crazy. For the previous giveaway, I'm gonna be very open with you guys. If you go to my Instagram and you look at my most recent like post or two, and look at my likes. I, we had less entries, like total entries, than we than I usually get like likes on an Instagram post. You know what I'm saying? So um, that was the previous giveaway. I don't know what the, this one's going to be like, but for the previous giveaway, just so you guys kind of have a ballpark, because some people I think get overwhelmed and think, oh my gosh, there's going to be 72,000 people entering. There's going to be 23,000 people from his Instagram. Like it's crazy. There's no way. I don't have a chance. Um, it's not. It's not anywhere near that. I think maybe one to two percent ish of my um, overall followers between those two platforms participate and that's about it. Um, which is totally fine, not, it's not for everybody. Really appreciate all the support, whether you're under the giveaways or not. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.